So now I'm going to talk to you all about a water quality parameter that we can test for, and that's dissolved oxygen. Dissolved oxygen is the oxygen that is present in the water. And every living thing needs oxygen to breathe, so we need to test for how much dissolved oxygen is in the water so we can assess the health of the habitat. Every species will have its own range of dissolved oxygen levels that it can tolerate, and that's measured by milligrams per liter. And once it gets below that, then the aquatic habitat can no longer support life. This is generally below one milligram per liter or below three milligrams per liter in which they deem it a hypoxic habitat where it's very low in dissolved oxygen. These things can happen when we have an excess of organic matter in the water, such as an algal bloom, and this will block the sunlight on the surface of the water, which will inhibit photosynthesis. And then also, as the decomposers and microorganisms break that organic matter down, it's absorbing a lot of the dissolved oxygen out of the habitat. You'll see higher levels of dissolved oxygen in colder waters, and you'll also see higher levels of dissolved oxygen in fresher water. Once you see an increase in salinity or an increase in temperature, you will see a decrease in dissolved oxygen. I have my dissolved oxygen testing kit here, which comprises of my manual, which gives me instructions on each step to take. I have a vial here to take a sample of water. And then I have tablets, which I will be putting two tablets into my test tube. And when we're done, I will be using this key to assess what my level of dissolved oxygen is. And we have already grabbed a bucket of sample water from our area, but you can do this in many different ways. You can test it right from the stream in your waders or from the shoreline, or you can do what I did and fill up a bucket and bring it to a table to make it a little bit easier for you. You wanna fill the vial all the way up. And I need two of the dissolved oxygen tablets for this particular kit. And when you put the tablets in, it will overflow just a little bit. And you're gonna screw the cap on tight, and then you're gonna invert it until those tablets dissolve. Then we have to wait about four minutes. All right, folks, so my tablets have been dissolving for about four minutes, and it's gonna need another five minutes to get its full coloring and where I can mark that down on my data sheet. But I'm gonna show you what you would do to figure out uh, your results. So here I have my cheat card and it has a range of colors here. And just after four minutes, you can tell it's not completely clear. It's got some murkiness there. And I think in five more minutes, we'll see a very pinkish color somewhere in between the four and eight PPM range. That's a good sign for this habitat. And if you wanna be really accurate, you will repeat that two more times. Mm -hmm.